If you scroll through itch.io, home to a lot of indie games, you'll find that often people name their games in a particular way. Well, one of two particular ways. But let's take a look. So I searched for roguelikes on itch.io and I found a few random titles that show what I'm talking about. First up, we got Sheltered Alone. I guess it's a survival game where you are sheltering alone. Or here is Dicey Dungeons. This one seems to be something to do with dungeons and dice, but nice play on words. Or here is Deep Dungeon. Roguelikes are often in dungeons and this one must be deep. Pixel Dungeon, a game with dungeons drawn with pixel art. Deep Dive. It seems you dive in this game. Deep. You, d you dive deep. You're deep diving. It's possible the reason we name our games this way is because of games like this. A game where you mine things and craft things. And this is one of the most successful games of all time. Or Portal. Like, yeah, that's what it is. And there are plenty of other successful games where the title is just a description of what they are or what it is you'll be doing in the game. So I'm not saying this is a bad way to name your game. It's just one of the ways that we do. On the flip side, we have titles like the following. First, we have Celeste. It's called Celeste instead of Pixel Double Jump. Deep Rock Galactic instead of Space Dwarves. Stardew Valley instead of Farm valley rest instead of torture yourself dark souls instead of painful boss battles seven days to die instead of some title with zombies or a word misspelled with a z in it and skyrim instead of dragon guy if you didn't already know what these games were about, their title gives almost nothing away. Maybe this puts them at a disadvantage, but maybe this also helps them be unique and memorable, even long after they're done being developed. I mean, imagine Skyrim wasn't popular. The chances that someone else would name their game the same thing, it just wouldn't happen, because Skyrim is literally a made-up word. Now don't get me wrong, it's probably not going to dictate whether you succeed or fail. I mean, it might. What you name your game does matter, but who knows for sure. With this in mind, I decided to name the game I'm prototyping right now, Cost, spelled with a K. Why? Because I made it up. Right now it means nothing, but I'll probably tie it into the game lore later on, but currently it literally doesn't mean anything at all. I could have named my game Inverted Roguelite, which would have been much more accurate to what it actually is, but a name like that wouldn't stand out or be memorable. And for this game in particular, I'd much rather it be unique and memorable. Now again, I'm not saying one way is better than the other, this is just what I decided for this title, and maybe it just depends on the game you're making. So take a moment and consider your game. Do you need to describe what is in your game, or do you need a title that is unique and memorable? Or can you come up with something that gets it's the best of both worlds.